Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the latest 4K short throw gaming projector from BenQ. This is the X500i, which features a low input lag of 4.2 milliseconds when gaming. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I'll run you through the spec of the projector, show you the picture quality on my fixed projector screen, and test it out on both my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X to see how well it performs. I'll also be testing it out with movies and TV shows, highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Let's unbox this and take a look at what you get inside the packaging. Inside the box, you get a Android TV stick, a card with a QR code for support, a power cable with a kettle connector, two AAA batteries, some documentation, a remote control, and finally the projector. Taking a closer look at the projector, it has a rectangular design with a matte white finish all over, except for the front where you have a gray pattern finish. There's an orange strip around the lens, and I've given the dimensions on the screen. Weighing in at just 3.6 kilograms, it has a BenQ logo on the front, on the top, and at the back. On the top left, you have a focus and zoom adjustment dials for the lens, together with some controls and light indicators. On the back, you have your connection ports. There's an audio out port, an RS-232 port, a USB port, which is a service port and used as a media reader. There's two HDMI 2.0 ports, an SPD-IF port, one USB-C display port, and a power input port. There's a compartment on the side to hold the Android TV stick, and underneath the projector, there's some seating mounting holes and rubber feet to stop it slipping on a surface, which can be height adjusted. You have two inbuilt 5 watt speakers on either side, and some vents on the front, back, and sides too. Let's install the Android TV stick that you get in the packaging. Unboxing this, inside you get a quick start guide and an Android TV stick. It has a micro USB port on one side. It's really easy to install. Just unscrew the small screw at the back of the projector and pull out the cover. Plug in the micro USB cable into the Android TV stick and then insert the stick into the projector via the HDMI connector. Then you just push the cover back into place and screw the screw back into position. Setup of the projector is easy. Once you've connected up the power and turned it on, it'll first ask you to select the projector position. I positioned it at the front, so selecting that and click OK. On the remote, click OK again, and then you can select your language. Go through the keystone correction to adjust the screen and make sure it fits onto your projector screen. Then pair the BenQ Android TV stick with the remote control. Now we can set up the Android TV stick. Select your language, then select your Wi-Fi. And to note, the projector supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And finally, sign into your Google account and accept the terms of service. And that's it, you're up and running. Startup is around 40 seconds and noise levels come in at 40 decibels and this is with ambient noise in the room. The display technology used here is DLP and it uses four LEDs with brightness at 2200 ANSI lumens, giving 12% more brightness output than other projectors with three LEDs. And you get 25% more bolder colors than lamp projectors. The light source has an expected life of 20,000 hours on normal mode or 30,000 hours on eco mode. So theoretically, if it was used four hours a day in normal mode, it will last nearly 14 years and 20 years in eco mode. The operating system on the Android TV stick is Android TV 11, and it has 13 gigs of storage on there. It has Netflix pre-installed, which works perfectly and performance when navigating around the interface is good and not sluggish in any way. You've also got Google Cast and AirPlay built in so you can cast from your mobile together with access to Google Assistant via the remote and it supports Bluetooth 5.0. The projector has a throw ratio of 0.69 to 0.83 and is capable of projecting up to 150 inches. I've given some example sizes and distances on the screen. It can be placed on a stand or table or even seating mounted. I've placed the projector in front of my projector screen as it's a short throw projector and I'm getting a 100 inch projection at about one and a half meters away. It has 2D keystone correction, both 30 degrees vertically and horizontally on the picture. Now the picture quality from the X500i is stunning. 
with a 4K 3840 by 2160 resolution and a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Testing this out in a dark room with some ambient lighting on my fixed projector screen and the picture quality has good vivid cinematic colours and vibrant hues with a DCI-P3 of 84% giving a wide colour gamut with it able to support 1.07 billion colours. Darker scenes are more watchable as picture quality is good with a contrast ratio of 600,000 to 1 and with a short throw design it's perfect for smaller rooms. Scenes with darker areas don't wash out and you can see what's happening on the screen pretty well. Watching movies and TV shows looks really good with picture quality looking detailed and sharp and brightness levels are pretty impressive with the 4 LED light source making it feel even brighter than the 2200 ANSI lumens. Now turning on the lights and the picture quality does get reduced but this is normal when using a projector screen like this but if you use an ALR screen, which stands for ambient light rejection, you can get away with using the projector with the lights on as there's minimal reduction in picture quality. Projecting on a white wall with the lights off in a room also works really well, as you can see here. There's also a cool bit of software called Settings Exchange, which has been developed by BenQ, and this allows you to download and set predefined expert projector settings for certain games. The software is available for free via the Microsoft Store on a PC. Just install it and connect your PC PC to the projector via a USB cable and then download the settings from BenQ's website and apply with the software. Let's test out some gaming and just to note as the device has an Android operating system you can download games directly from there. So basic games like Crossy Road or Beach Buggy Racing can be played with no issues and as the projector supports Bluetooth you can even pair up a gaming controller. There's different gaming modes supporting a low input lag. So at 1080p 60Hz, 4K at 60Hz and 2K at 60Hz you get an input lag of 16.7 milliseconds at 1080p 120Hz and 2K at 120Hz you'd get a 8.3 millisecond input lag and at 1080p 240Hz you can get a 4.3 millisecond input lag which is pretty impressive for a projector. Now connecting this up to both my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X it doesn't support HDMI 2.1 so there's no 4K at 120Hz support. The maximum you can get here is 4K at 60Hz with an input lag of 16.7 milliseconds which actually isn't bad for a projector. Now I've connected up the projector to my Xbox Series X and you can see everything is ticked except 4K at 120Hz and Dolby Vision. Going into video modes the projector doesn't support auto low latency mode, variable refresh rate and Dolby Vision. Jumping in and doing some gaming on here is just insane. The huge display looks incredible. The input lag is more than sufficient for the majority of games at 4K 60Hz. Obviously it can't compete with a gaming monitor that has a lightning fast 1 millisecond response time. But this takes your gaming to a bigger level on the large screen, literally capable of filling an entire wall. On the PS5 I tried out Gran Turismo 7, Astro's Playroom, Spider-Man 2, Ratchet and Clan and Fortnite. Colours and contrast levels are really impressive as you can see giving an amazing experience at 4k the clarity is just stunning giving an insane amount of detail even playing at 1440p at 120 hertz was sufficient giving an impressive performance with the picture quality keeping up in the fast scenes and there was no stuttering or screen tearing as this is a short throw projector this is perfect for my sim racing rig i've set up my playseat challenge x Logitech G Edition seat which has my Logitech G29 wheel and pedals mounted with my driving force shifter and I've connected this up to my PlayStation 5. Playing Gran Turismo 7 on the 100 inch projector screen is amazing, giving a really immersive experience. There isn't any screen tearing, gameplay is smooth with colors being vibrant and picture quality being sharp at 1440p 120 hertz. The X500i also supports game mode which identifies your gaming console inputs and it will recall your previous game mode settings so you don't need to reconfigure them. Using the projector for general usage so for YouTube and your streaming services, it performed really well and it even supports Netflix as some Android TV sticks out there don't support Netflix by default. So really pleased to see that. The picture quality is excellent in 4K with the X500i supporting HDR Pro, giving more brightness and detailed color tones and darker areas are shown with deeper contrast. As the X500i is a short throw projector, this is perfect for smaller rooms and also for your bedroom as you don't need to have a massive gap between the screen and projector. Sound quality wise, it's not bad 
bad. You've got two 5 watt speakers by Travolo and these are symmetrically placed on either side of the projector and with BenQ cinematic sound technology you get good precision when gaming to help pinpoint sound placement. Have a listen to this. I wouldn't say it would replace having a decent gaming headset but it does work really well onto the remote and it has a good build to it. It has both the projector and Android controls on there. There's an integrated microphone too, allowing you to have Google Assistant at the touch of a button. And it's even backlit, making it perfect to use in a dark room. Now comparing this projector with the TK700 STI, which is also a great gaming projector from BenQ, which I previously reviewed. Check out the card in the corner if you wanted to see that review. But the key differences between the two is that the X500i has better color representation and brightness levels because it has four LEDs, HDR Pro and vivid cinematic colors. Plus it also supports 1440p at 120Hz making it ideal for both the PS5 and Xbox Series X and PC together with it having a shorter throw ratio so you can get a larger display at a closer distance making it ideal if you're limited for space. It also has a better contrast ratio at 600,000 to 1 compared to 10,000 to one on the TK700 STI. And the X500i also supports HDR10, giving the next gen games a more cinematic image and immersive gaming experience than the TK700 STI. So in summary, I'm really impressed with the new X500i 4K ultra short throw gaming projector from BenQ. Picture quality is stunning in 4K with a wide color gamut, delivering colors true to life with enhanced contrast levels. Sound quality was pretty good from the inbuilt Travolo speakers. It works really well in a small room as you can get a big screen experience from a short distance away. Performance when gaming is excellent when compared to other projectors on the market with it giving a 4.2 millisecond input lag at 1080p 240Hz and it also supports 1440p at both 60Hz and 120Hz giving great performance. Plus being a short throw projector it's also perfect with my sim racing rig giving a really immersive racing experience on the big screen. The X500i is also great for general usage so watching movies or TV shows with the Android TV stick supporting Netflix so an awesome all-round projector. Negatives wise it would have been great if the projector had HDMI 2.1 ports as it would have made the most of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X giving 4K at 120 hertz and it doesn't support variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode or Dolby Vision. And it would have been good if there was an ethernet port but you could just get a USB to ethernet adapter. Price wise it comes in at just under $1700 in the US and just under £1500 in the UK. So not too bad I'd say in terms of price if you're planning on getting a projector to use for both gaming and movies. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below including purchasing links. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. For those of you who got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with X500i as it's awesome to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified on my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.